Thank you, Ms. Hashberg, Chairperson, members, and guests. I'll be talking about clinical significance of genus mutation in pancreatic cancer distinct from IPMN of the pancreas. As you know, IPMN is a precursor of pancreatic cancer. Several studies, including ours, demonstrated that malignancy could be observed even in flat and small branch duct IPMN. However, such cases seem to be rare, and most patients with branch duct IPMN who are monitored according to the international consensus guidelines of IPMN could be successfully managed before they become in basal carcinoma. Another problem associated with IPMN is the development of distinct pancreatic cancer concomitant with IPMN. Most of the cancers distinct from IPMN were simultaneously diagnosed and rejected together with IPMN. However, we also experienced metachronous development of distinct pancreatic cancer during surveillance of IPMN. This patient had multifocal branch duct, duct, branch duct IPMN, as you see, and distinct pancreatic cancer was found in the pancreatic body, which could not be detected by MRCP six months before. Despite our strict surveillance protocol, some patients with IPMN are diagnosed as having a metastatic or locally unrejectable cancer. Therefore, we need to identify some factors to predict the development of distinct pancreatic cancer in patients with IPMN. Recent study shows that genus muta mutations in genus are common and specific for IPMN. Genus mutation is not essentially observed in pancreatic cancer without association with IPMN. And the detection rate of genus mutation differ according to the subtypes of IPMN. Therefore, comparison of genus status in IPMNs with and without distinct pancreatic cancer may reveal the clinical significance of preoperative assessment of genus mutation in patients with IPMN. A total of 110 consecutive patients underwent rejection in, in our institution. Among them, 16 had distinct pancreatic cancer concomitant with IPMN, and the remaining 94 had IPMN alone. Tumor tissues of both IPMN and invasive carcinoma with neoplastic serology of more than 50% were manually dissected from 10 micro M sections of FFP tissues, and while those of invasive carcinoma with lower neoplastic serology were microscopically dissected. An overview of the approach used for the detection of genus codon 201 mutation in tissue specimens is presented in this slide. HRM analysis was initially performed to screen the presence or absence of mutation in genus exon 8. The PCR products that were indicated to be mutant by HRM analysis was subjected to Sanger sequencing. When the specimen was indicated to be mutant by HRM analysis but wild type Sanger sequencing, they underwent competitive array specific TACMA PCL. For preoperative evaluation of genus status, we also use the diurnal fluid, preoperatively corrected diurnal fluid in patients with IPMS. After positioning the endoscope in the second portion of the diurnal, diurnal fluid uh, was corrected for five minutes by gently aspirating while pushing a diurnal ball using a cannula and immediately stirred at minus 80 degrees until analysis. 
genus mutation of the ordinary fluid was examined by sensitive mutation scanning cast PCL. Clinical pathologic parameters and the genus status were compared between IPMNs with and without distinct pancreatic cancer. The rate of genus mutation was significantly lower in IPMNs with distinct pancreatic cancer than without cancer. In addition to the genus status, histopathologic grade of non-invasive IPMN, gastric subtype, branch duct site and mural nodule are selected as potential predictors of distinct pancreatic cancer. According to the multivariate logistic regression model, the absence of genus mutation and gastric type, gastric subtype in IPMN were independent predictors of distinct pancreatic cancer. This is a represent, representative case of IPMN which ex exhibited genus colon 201 mutation in both preoperatively corrected duodenal fluid and rejected specimens. Genus R201H mutation was detected in duodenal fluid by CAS PCL. Pathologic examination revealed gastric type IPMN with low to intermediate grade dysplasia. HR analysis of tissue specimen indicated the presence of mutation in genus exon 8 and subsequent Sanger sequencing also confirmed genus R201H mutation. On the other hand, neither genus R201C nor R201H mutation was detected in the ordinary fluid and rejected the specimen of IPMN with distinct pancreatic cancer. The mutant status of the ordinary fluid and much of the tissue specimen were examined in 23 patients with IPMNs. By cas -BCL, genus mutation was detected in 11 of 23 diodinal fluid samples, and the mutant status was consistent with that of much the tissue specimen in these 11 patients. Two patients could not be detected, genus mutation could not be detected in diodinal fluid samples in two, in two patients, with positive genus mutation in rejected specimens. Therefore, the accuracy of the ordinary free DNA testing was 90%. In 30 patients without genus mutation in the ordinary fluid, 11 patients had IPMNs without genus mutation, including three patients with distinct pancreatic cancer. In conclusion, the mutational analysis of rejected IPMN in our present study demonstrates that distinct pancreatic cancer frequently develops in the pancreas with gastric type, type IPMN or IPMNs without genus mutation. Therefore, preoperative assessment of genus status using the ordinary fluid may useful for identification of high-risk individuals who may have or develop distinct pancreatic cancer. Thank you for your attention.